This episode is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, the number one seller of games and gaming accessories. And GatheringMagic.com, the number one resource for Magic the Gathering news and articles. Hey guys, this is Corey Jude, and this is my Damia Sage of Rodents deck. Alright, so I know what you're thinking. Not another Damia Sage of Stone deck. And that's the reaction I usually get when I pull this out and it's not a playgroup that knows what's going on here. <clears throat> Damia lends herself to being just good stuff in the colors that she commands. Uh, just because she fills up your hand, which is very valuable. But originally I had set out to make a Relentless Rats deck. And I didn't want to go the normal mono black, make a rat, swing... Make a rat, make a rat, swing, make a rat, make a rat, make a rat, swing, route. Because that's just boring. Damia's colors lend herself to doing some pretty resilient stuff when it comes to Relentless Rat decks, And she also helps fill your hand, which is always nice to have a grip of rats. So, I went with Damia. Going into the mana base. Command Tower. Pretty much run this in all of my decks. There are three colors or more. Shocklands. Checklands, that's what they're called, right? Checklands, checklands, maybe not. Uh, going into the Vivid Lands. I like the Vivid Lands just because I have a lot of color intensive mana costs, a lot of double and triple. Um, and I can usually afford for a couple of lands to come into play tapped. Don't like them all to do that, but my play group is usually forgiving enough to where you don't get stomped if you have a land come into play tapped. Going to the Fetches. Temple of the False God, nothing new. Crypt of Agadim. Usually I have lots of rats in the graveyard, so Crypt of Agadim is usually tapping for a whole lot of black mana, which is nice. Swarm Yard. This is a Relentless Rats deck. Helps to be able to regenerate one of my rats. Novagen, Heart of Progress, helps when I'm just dropping a few rats at a time. Uh, I can make them bigger for a green and a blue. Spock those the restless tomb. After a board wipe, this is especially helpful because it can get pretty huge. Whether I've put the rats in there or not, it's usually swinging in for a pretty good damage. Basic lands, I run nine swamps. Just because if I draw a basic, I usually want it to be a swamp. Four forests and four islands. That's all the lands. Chromatic Lantern, my playgroup really likes Blood Moon, and Chromatic Lantern says, I don't care about your Blood Moon. Also helps me fix all my other lands, which is nice. I really like this card. Soul Ring, you know. Sky Shroud Claim lets me fetch a couple of forests, put them into play, untapped, which is nice. Grab some shocks, do what you want. Getting into the beef of the deck, the Relentless Rats, uh, most decks run a whole lot of them. I run 25. I've found that to be my comfortable number, trial and error. Uh, you don't get flooded with them because this deck does want to do some other things. And uh, there are lots of ways to get them back from the graveyard. Lots of ways to abuse them while they're in the graveyard. So 25 is a nice round number. I like it. Makes up core of the deck. More rats? Oh my god. Alright. Getting into the other creatures. Vela the Nightclad. I really like her. She gives all my rats Intimidate, which is nice. And the, uh, the thing that's really handy about her is whenever you have a creature that leaves play, keyword, leaves play, not dies. So if you get them all exiled, this still triggers. Whenever a creature you control leaves play, each opponent loses one life. Uh, and she's pretty nasty to hit with a kick right of replication. Fun. Micaeus, you know what he does. Board wipe, all the rats come back, and they're bigger. Oh my god. Maronar. This guy can get pretty nasty when you have a few rats on board. He actually goes uh, arbitrarily large with Thornbite Staff, which I don't run main deck. Probably should, 
but I have it set off to the side just in case, you know, the group tries to get nasty. Yeah. Pack Rat is a limited house. Usually I'm pitching a Relentless Rat because I like him in the yard. And uh, making a copy of Pack Rat. All around good card. Mortivore, again, a card that cares about rats in the yard and creatures in other opponents' graveyards. And you can regenerate them. You know what Mortivore does. Sphinx of the Chimes. This may be the only place in Magic where this card is relevant. Uh, discard two non-land cards with the same name. Draw four cards. Pitch two rats. Draw four cards. Probably draw some more rats. Pitch them. Do what you want to do. Lightning Greaves. Usually sticking this on Micaeus or Vela. Mystical Tutor. Let's you search for things. You know uh, how tutors work. Let's me get Naturalize. Uh, without fail, you haven't seen it yet, but I run Throwing Stone. It's pretty key to this deck. It's not the only way to get a lot of them into play, but it's pretty important. Without fail, it'll get O-ringed, Detentions Feared, something or other. Got to get rid of that. Putrefy also uh, destroys artifacts or a creature. It's nice. Golgari Charm is usually making, uh, regenerating my rats. It's also handy. Destruction. Removal. Fun. Hinder. I chose Hinder over Spell Crumple just because I want Hinder in my graveyard most of the time. So I can get it back with Noxious Revival or Recollect. These are both pretty handy to recur any number of things that I'd like to have back. Parallel Thoughts. Now, the first time most people read Parallel Thoughts, they think, Oh my god, how broken. You search for seven cards, and you uh, get one of them when you draw, instead of drawing. Um, until it get blowed up. That's right. Until it get blowed up. Then you're kind of just exiled seven really good things from your deck. More often than not, I'll search for five rats, and... Uh, Two other more important things, but not so important that if they blow this up, that it's going to ruin the game for me. Gerard's Orders is usually grabbing a Relentless Rat, putting it in the graveyard, and getting Velar and Micaeus. He's just pretty good. Pack Hunt uh, lets me go get three rats. Dream Halls has been busted in Legacy before. Uh, you might have seen this card. Basically, you uh, you pitch a card instead of paying the casting cost for a spell that shares a color. This lets me drop a whole bunch of rats and put other ones in the yard, which is also nice. The only downside is this is not one-sided, so your opponents get to utilize it as well. Uh, anytime I've played this card beforehand, I make sure I have a way to bounce it back. Uh, but not in this deck, because there's no room, so I'm living on the edge. Now we're getting into the ways to get a whole bunch of rats into play at one time. And Genesis Wave will do it. Doubling Chant. For each rat, basically get another rat. Here's Big Daddy Thrumming Stone. Everybody knows how this works. And if you don't, spells you control have Ripple 4. I'm not going to explain to you how Ripple works. But it's pretty busted with Relentless Rats. Especially when a quarter of the deck is uh, made of Relentless Rats. So Ripple 4, you have pretty good odds of hitting it. Brain Spoil lets me get Thrumming Stone. Fabricate lets me get Thrumming Stone. Oh no! Now we're getting into the things that make my rats real threats. As if huge rats weren't enough of a real threat. A Chroma's Memorial, we know what that does. Make some huge and scary and flying rats that do all kind of crazy stuff. They trample. Oh my god. Nice to have a reprint of this, by the way. Garrick Wild Speaker lets you untap lands and gives you overrun on a planeswalker. So them rats be trampling. Overrun. Oh my god. Nice busted, busted up copy. I like it. Beastmaster Ascension, because I want to be turning rats sideways. And when I turn rat sideways, it gets counters and makes the rat I turn sideways a lot bigger. Now we're getting into the section that lets me utilize the rats in non-typical ways. Um, my playgroup likes Insurrection, just like most playgroups. So if Phyrexian Altar lets me uh, stop them from getting all my rats, or if uh, I get Mass Exile, I can sacrifice them and put them in the yard instead. 
so I can utilize them later. Plus you get colored mana. Grave Pact. Um, if there are creatures on the board, you know there's a couple that I need to deal with and I have Buku Rats on board, I can sack a few <laughs> and get rid of those. Love Grave Pact. Distant Melody's cute when I have a bunch of rats on board. Uh, draw all the cards. Decree of Pain has actually won me games. How, you might ask. Well, I had Vela on board with a whole bunch of rats, and all my opponents took a whole bunch of damage. Fun. Fresh Meat. If I have to wipe the board, or if I have an opponent that wipes the board, cast Fresh Meat and get a bunch of beasts. I like it. Nantuko Shrine. Now, this is appropriate. I tried to stay on theme, and this goes along with the rodents theme, just because squirrels are rodents. Cute, cuddly, bushy-tailed rodents. Uh, this card reads, whenever a player plays a spell, that player puts X11 green squirrel creature tokens into play, where X is the number of cards in all graveyards with the same name as that spell. This usually only helps me, just because uh, I have a lot of rats in my graveyard, and not a lot of people have same name stuff in theirs. Blood Bond March. Uh, this card is pretty busted in this deck as well. Usually I like to put a few rats in the yard just in case. Uh, I most often draw into this, but uh, you know you know how this works. Whenever a creature spell is played, each player returns all cards with the same name as the spell from his or her graveyard to play. Got a bunch of them in the yard. Play one. Get them all back. Value. Patriarch's Bidding. Let's all choose a creature type and return from our graveyards. Uh, more often than not, my opponents are not playing tribal decks, which makes this a lot more leaned in my favor. But if I can land a leyline of the void and then do it, all value for me. And I like that. So that's the deck. Uh, there's a few fun lines of play in there. All in all, it's a pretty enjoyable alternative to playing the normal rats deck, which can be boring. This deck isn't for everyone, but if you're looking for an alternative to the normal mono black relentless rats deck, it's pretty fun. There's Damia. Fill your hand up. Control those rats. Alright guys, Corey Jude signing out. Check me out on Twitter, at Corey Jude. Later. Thanks for watching CMDR Decks. Don't forget to subscribe and favorite.